Hi, hello, welcome to Data Engineering with Data Bricks. This is Ganesh. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to parse a JSON file using Databricks Spark. So for this, I'm going to choose two files. One is going to be a simple JSON, and second one is going to be a nested JSON. Uh, for sake of convenience, I'm choosing Spark SQL. Maybe on a later day, later video, I'll use a Python and demonstrate the same. For now, I'm choosing a simple Spark SQL. So I have my data, data sets. I'm going to upload my file first. So this is a simple JSON. You see here, just like four or five key value pairs. I'm uploading it, making a copy of the location. That's step one. Let me also upload one more file. So this is a pretty JSON. If you see the difference here, this is a regular JSON, like without a new line characters. This is a pretty JSON. I'll upload this one also. I'll explain you why. So these are the two paths. I'm making a note of the location. I go to the next tab and I paste it here. So I know what I'm going to work on. Percentage MD. It's a magic command, markdown, hash hash, process, simple, JSON, documents, or document, similar. Okay, so let me choose the first one. This is the one without any new line characters, not a pretty looking one. So what do I do? I'm going to say select, star, from, JSON dot. I'm using a backtick. So backtick is the one which is next to the number one uh, queue. I'm pasting the path here. And I want to say semicolon, just optional. So it's a backtick, not a single quotes. And I press shift, enter. What happens? You see the value, what are we uploaded here? It just shows up right away. So since it's a simple JSON, it works right away it's all good okay why did i pick the pretty json the reason is if i go to the same thing with the pretty json you'll see the difference is that won't work right away the reason being it has some new line characters which databricks finds it hard to process it so it thinks like hey something is not right so this is not a good idea so, but again, don't worry. We have ways to work in Databricks. Just want to show you the difference. So if you're using a JSON dot uh, file location, make sure it's a, a JSON file without new line characters, not a pretty JSON. If you have a pretty JSON, then you have alternate ways to do it. Okay, so for now you got the basic difference. So this is a simple uh, JSON with all the key value pairs. Okay, now how do we handle when we have a, a pretty JSON file, or either way, any, any JSON for the matter. So let me show you. This is going to be uh, percentage MD, um, create table using JSON, pretty JSON, okay? So what I'm going to do, I want to say create table, let me call it as, uh, it's a board, that's the name of the file, board, bronze, it's a bronze data of JSON type using JSON. I want to say options, path equals, uh, single quotes, this is a single quotes here, and my location is this. I want to copy this location, paste it here, then space, uh, sorry, comma, multi-line equals true. Here I'm mentioning, this is a multi-line document. So, hey Spark, when you're processing it, make sure you take care of it. So I'm running this, it works. Yes, done. Select, start from board, bronze, JSON. There you go, same thing. Now, this is an actual table. How do you know it's a table? 
describe bore bronze JSON. So it shows me the columns. If I'm going to take it and notch it up to the next level, if I say describe extended, it gives me a few more things like um, what type of file it is. It's an external table because I'm pointing to an, um, uh, a DBFS location, because I'm pointing to this location. So the table is different, the metadata is different, and the JSON files are in a different location. Okay. So this is processing a simple JSON. Hope it made sense. So now let me demonstrate by uploading a nested JSON. Okay. So I would say a person is MD. Oops, MD, oh, come on. Um, nested JSON. Okay. So for this, I'm going here. I want to upload. Okay, before that, let me show you the source where I'm getting the file. So this is an um, RSS feed generator from, um, it's kind of an uh, Apple feed. So here I'm just using uh, albums, JSON format, just 10 rows for now. Just give me the data set. So I say, uh, I'm going to copy this. Uh, it's already pasted, but that's fine. I'll paste it one more time. I paste it. I get this file. This is the data of the top 10 albums. So it doesn't matter. It's some data set. Copying it. I'm going to paste it in my notepad, um, save it as a file. I'll come over here, upload albums. Again, this is already a file, I already have it. The same time. So I'm uploading the file. So this is the albums.json. Now I have a new file. I'm going to play with this file. What do we do here? Same stuff. Select, start from JSON dot backtick. Step one. What happened? Why well, don't it? I don't know what happened. <laughs> Just running it twice, I got it. So when you look at this one, so this is the actual JSON data. So how do we pass it now? You see this one at the root level. Let me open another tab. I would say uh, pretty JSON. So for us to understand how it looks like, I want to paste the content and say, make it pretty. So it shows me at root level, I have an author. Inside author, I have name and the URL. At the root level, I have copyright, country, icon, ID, links, results. So under results, it um, starts with a square parenthesis. It means the square bracket. It which is an array of values. So that's the nature of the JSON. I'm going back. So let me pull the author, copyright, and some of the details using Spark. So before doing that, let me create a table like this. So this way we have something easier to work with. So I want to create a file. It's our board. It's going to be albums, bronze JSON, and the file name is this zero two albums on JSON. So this is my file, file is all done. Select star from albums, bronze, JSON. This is my table. Okay, in the same data, all good. So what I'm going to do, what is it select? Author dot, sorry, not author dot. What's the name of the column? You see feed, feed is the one. 
generated by the this one see this one the root value that's called feed so data mix has named the column as feed so what is feed dot author from sorry from this table so what does it do it just prints name url so name url so if you want to expand it more you can say select author dot name feed dot author dot url so now i get two other columns so if you want to use uh, column alias you can very well do it right away so as author underscore name as author underscore url by doing this i'm expanding both the stuff if you think like hey it's too much to do i'm lazy i don't want to type everything step by step what you can do here you can come here and say remove all these things author dot star when you do this it automatically expands these two columns the only disadvantage of doing this way is if you have more values in that object it automatically expands it and you don't have the luxury of naming the column the way you want it just picks up the default uh, uh, key value key and it displays it as it is so that's the only difference between these two but again it's your choice so same way author copyright country it's all the same stuff just want to show you uh, one more stuff here comma feed dot country so this way you get an idea i have this us all peachy then further if you go to the pretty json and the copyright look at the results results is made up of a lot of arrays that's an array value so how do you process the results so all that i'm just going to skip this for now i want the results i want to say feed dot results see what happens now it shows me all the values are here it's embedded into that thing it's a list of values and expand it you see all the values here array of zero array of one array of two so i want to expand them i want to have all these values in a denormalized format right now it's like if you think about a mysql database this is one row mapping to multiple results so i want to denormalize it so this way i get everything the right way okay so i want to take this uh, since you know what it is i want to create one more folder uh, cell here i want to say explore explore and this one what happens so now the same apple author url country got duplicated several times and the final result column is here so this has been expanded to 10 rows so this is keep scrolling down you see like 10 rows the same thing got copy because that's like the whole idea of denormalization and this is the actual column value okay so now again i have artist id artist name you see all the objects here so what do we do you can pick all those values one by one and the problem is again i see one more level of where is it there is one more uh, yeah one more array so it's really inconvenient if i just have the explore here the best way would be to have it as a separate column name so how do we handle that for that you can use a concept called lateral views so you can read more about lateral views uh, it's basically a virtual view created by uh, spark sql i would say lateral view explore this as i'm just going to give it a name uh, lateral view underscore results so now see what happens so this is the name basically like an it creates a self-contained join again for your understanding 
watch the same result now. Same thing. Now instead of a column, this gives me the actual results. The advantage of doing this way is this. Basically, if I go here, paste it, and they say this dot star. Now it's going to expand it further. The artist name, artist ID, yeah, it's all expanded, and you get the results perfectly. Okay, if I keep scrolling down, you see this one. I have the gen generation. So generation is again another array. So now we know the drill. What do we do? Copy it, go here, expand it, paste it. I'm going to create one more. Lateral view. It's going to be lateral view explode off. This time it's going to be LP results dot gen dress. Oops, what did I do? Oh, I forgot to add that. Generals dot star. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, watch this. Initially, initially, it started with us one column, right? The way over here, it was one row. But it's like um, multiple values. Now, expanding over to 10 here. Now, after expanding the generation, it has become 21 rows. So that's the whole idea of this expanding and exploding. Okay, so here we go. The only reason is now we have URL everywhere and URL here, URL here. So it might confuse the system. So to avoid that, you can say like, okay, URL as, uh, generation underscore URL. So this way it has some clarity. So what are columns you need, you can pick and choose. So now when I run, when I run this, it's going to pick up all the values that we really need. Okay, I guess it makes sense. So this is URL. Again, don't use the star. Go and pick up all the individual columns you're looking for. So this way when you're going to build a data table on top of this, it's perfectly fine. So now the whole idea is I had a nested JSON at several levels. Now I have flattened it and this is my result. So what do you do after this? Simple, go here, say create table, I'm sorry, create table, what's the table name? Uh, I'll say albums. Again, this is still a bronze level, delta table as I'm going to give this query. So what happens? This is my query. I create the table. So it's creating a delta table for me. So with the delta table, the advantage is I can go and do a deletion. I can do an updation. I can do all kinds of time travel. That's the best. That's the best in the class now. So I would say select star from albums, bronze, delta. So how does it become a delta? Not just because I have this delta here. Basically, if I'm not mentioning the uh, using let's say here i'm saying using json then i mention like if you don't mention the using my default format is delta so that's what it is now i have all the tables here the nested json has been flattened hope you like the video thank you